our prime directive at Anderson Law PC is to never harm a child. One of the first things we tell our clients is that it is critical to keep the children out of the middle of divorce. Hearing about how terrible the other parent is is stressful to a child. It is telling that child that half of them is bad. Being asked to pick sides is not okay. Parenting disputes that put the child in the middle can have a lifelong detrimental effect on that child. Children are not equipped to referee their parents' fights. They do not want to be caught in the middle. And saying things like, I won in court today, or the other parent did not pay child support, puts kids in the middle and causes them stress. Judges know how harmful it is to put children in the middle, and they give severe consequences to the parents who do it. Do not do it. This is not something to ignore. Children as young as 11 and 12 years of age have become sick, anxious, depressed, and even suicidal due to the pressure of being caught up in their parents' divorce. We here at Anderson Law understand how hard this is. Many of us are divorced, have children of our own, went through these issues with our own parents. We know how keeping your child out of the middle is easier said than done. For example, what do you do when the child says the other parent is bad-mouthing you? Do you defend yourself and explain the truth? Not always. Usually it is better to help the child use their own critical thinking skills. Reach out to the other parent through apps like Talking Parents and Our Parenting Wizard to hear their point of view and direct them in a healthy communication. Provide some resources for yourself and them. You can also involve an attorney to get the message to the other parent in a healthy way. We suggest books like Why Did You Get a Divorce and Can I Get a Hamster by Dr. Anthony Wolfe or Keeping Kids Out of the Middle by Dr. Benjamin Garber. Check out the links below and also visit our blog, also in the link below, for more information on how to talk to kids without putting them in the middle and why putting them in the middle is so harmful to them. You may want to consider therapy and other resources for the children. And watch our video on giving a child a voice in domestic relations proceedings for tips on how to let your child weigh in without putting them in the middle. Call us for a free consultation to get you in the right direction so you can handle your domestic relations matter without harming your case or your child.